How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we're reacting to We're Not Safe Here by Christopher Cox. Alright, so once again, huge shout out to Joshua. Thank you so much for the suggestion, man. Keep them coming. It's really, really awesome to have the support, you know? But onto this, man, I'm just really excited. And I have to apologize because you also told me to check out another video of his. But sadly, I think I'm running out of days. I'm not quite sure. I think I only have like one more video left. But like, it should be really re exciting because I picked this one because you said this one was your favorite out of the two, you know? So I'm going to react to this one because you have been like... I was gonna say hit and miss, but that's the complete opposite. You have been nothing but bangers, man. Like, all of your suggestions have been to die for. And spoopy season, that's what I'm looking for, you know? So, I'm very excited to get this going because, like, it kind of falls back to, like, every horror short that I've reacted to in the past. Like, it's the unknowingness that I love about it. And, like, I didn't even, like, read the description of this one. I want to jump in, like, with all the mystery I could possibly, like, soak up, you know? So, it should be really, really enjoyable in that sense, you know? But also, like, everything involved with it. Like, I want to see, like, how well the actors are. Like, if there's more than one actor, you know? Like, how they bounce off of each other and stuff. So, it should be really exciting stuff. So, without any further ado, here's We're Not Safe Here. Ooh, got that acoustic going. Oh, he's actually playing it! <laughs> oh. I really love this. Got, like, an... Technically, you have like an intro, movie quality intro, but it's just a dude playing the guitar while you're showing the names. Ooh, more people talking. Let's go, man. Already past the vibe check, by the way. I am 100% invested already. You guys know we're not safe here, though, right? Okay, we're just starting what, off like with that. Woods? Yeah, man. Obviously. Out in the middle of nowhere? There could be anything lurking. That's fair, I guess. I have a feeling this is how, like, every ghost story around the fire starts. Alright, just go for it. Just do I mean, it. <laughs> okay, yeah, but this one's actually real. I was about to say, okay, is this one true? My family history. You're gonna they usually it. say that next. Yeah, for sure. Oh, Alex, for sure. it's not that scary, bro. Mm -hmm. Camping and shit, you gotta do a ghost story. I agree, you have to do some ghost yeah, stories. At least talk about your experiences. Alright, alright, alright. You're gonna be fine. This reminds me of clerics. It's just scary. friends talking so, to each other. I found out recently from my grandma that my ancestors, Has to be when true. I first came to this country, they lived in these very woods. Wow. Convenient. Know, seriously. Wow. So my ancestors, he has more sarcasm Arthur than me. Jackson, was told by the natives that these woods were haunted by a mysterious creature called La Mimica. The Mimica? They say this creature Skinwalker? like a human, but was large. Standing eight feet tall. Am I not far off? <laughs> hairless, with jet black eyes. The rake? Demon. It came out only. Or that one dude from the SCP? Hunt. And it needed a lot of meat to keep going. Oh, that sounds like my ass. Oh. <laughs> 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 um, That's pretty funny. <laughs> Please have at it. So rumor oh, I love this, man. Hear strange noises in the forest. Sounds, whistles. Even words. Some would swear that they even heard voices. But anyone who went to investigate... I think that one guy's invested. Return. He's kind of brushing it off. the locals deemed that the result of a single creature. La Mimica. By the time my ancestor Arthur arrived, nearly all of them had been wiped out. Oh. So he went into the forest to find this mysterious La Mimica. Smart I Arthur. should be scanning the environment. accompanied by a local native who knew the woods... Okay, I was correct. That guy is in it. Look kind of bad for him. He searched and searched and found a tiny piece of his cloak at the mouth of a cave. Oh, maybe don't go in there. The edge of the cave and whispered into the darkness. Blink, please. Oh. A voice answered back. Hello. No. <laughs> he conversed with the native to make sure that it was genuinely him. And when he was sure that in fact it was the native. Oh, dude, the audio. Step into the cave. <laughs> Jesus Christ! You are a terrible friend. I should have recorded that. Yeah, you probably should have. Good thing I am. Sorry, that screech was so loud. It was extremely loud. Good jump scare. La mimica. Not bad. Fucking sucked. Whatever. I agree with the curly-haired guy. No. I don't think he has curly hair. The screech? I was too busy like cowering in fear to see what his reaction was. I can just tell it's not real. No, 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 it's real. 
My grandma really told me that story. Okay, oh. but... So you're just using it to your advantage to scare your friends. Dumb as hell, just like every other ghost story. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> My man Arthur was chilling there for like an hour, and he was very smart. Okay, well... <laughs> Uh, One, if why is he out of focus? Dying, they would just I don't move. like that. <laughs> it seems easy enough. Okay, also, if the woods are so dangerous at night, they'd only go in there during the daytime. Yeah, okay. But... And La Mimica can mimic any human voice, right? Any voice it hears at all? Okay, well then, your ancestor... That guy's quick on his feet, now, man. Because he didn't have, you know, a backup plan to... Ask the native something only he, he would found know. every plot hole. I mean, come on, if real people were hunting something, he still that seems a little concerned. Humans, you'd think they'd be able to tell it apart from other stuff. Oh, you say that now, it's easy to be logical here and in the moment, but when you're in a stressful situation, it's impossible to be a hundred percent. Be more that you don't know what you're gonna do in that ancestors. situation yourself. Hey, my man, Arthur was fight or flight. Me. Whatever happened to him? Oh, he's never heard from her again. It's like, no, seriously, what happened to him? <laughs> With that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe run. I have a feeling the whatever it is, the mimic, it's not done. What? I'm just leaving to take a piss. Did I really startle you? <laughs> Dude, I'd be jumping too, man. La mimica. La mimica. <laughs> <laughs> he seems fun to be around, but too much of him could probably go a long way. It got exponentially more quiet. Like, unsettling amount of quiet. Oh, kitty! Oh, <laughs> Don't die. Go back to your kitty. And possibly loved one. Mostly the kitty. I'm trying to look behind him. Hopefully that's his friend, right? Where is he? He's just taking a piss. When did he leave? I don't know, like two minutes ago? Yeah, like a couple minutes ago? I'm sorry? Like what, what happened? What? I'm pretty sure that was real time. What is up with the... I hate that. I know it's like a zipper, but... Is it a zipper? No, it's just scratching. That's even more unsettling. Now it's obviously his friends playing tricks on him again, right? <laughs> repeat this all the time, but you brave soul. The chances of it being the friend, like, messing with him is very high, but still, man. <laughs> Done. Do nothing to worry about. No need to look. I think it's the end. He's been gone for over an hour. Maybe he's just fucking with us. No, there could be some stranger out yeah, there. I don't think we should... Ian! I have a feeling one's more, way Ian, more logical. You? I don't think that's Ian. Wouldn't it mimic the voice though? Maybe Ian didn't say anything when he was pissing. Again, the audio in this is very well done. No, can you actually keep doing that? I could confirm where you're at. This is like cross space all over again. <laughs> I think it's Ian. How is he making that sound? Ian! We're fucking around! You got us! I don't think that's Ian! How much proof do you need to know it's not Ian? I got you! No. 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 No, that's Mimics. That, he said that before. Okay, that's new. No, 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 don't. don't yeah, worry. don't. Oh, no. <laughs> Why am I raising my hands? How could one? I don't trust them. That's I don't actually Ian. I'm freezing out here. Let me in. need to trick it. It's great. I'm not thinking it was so fucking real, Alex. Okay. I'm with Alex. Okay, well then why won't he just open that tight himself? Yo, Matt, you left this out here. The fuck? I forget that. 
You dumbass! I'm sorry, but... No, Matt, wait! <laughs> it could mimic a guitar! Oh, that's a lot of blood! I hate this! <laughs> Not even. Game. This is Alex. satanic. Bro, are you good? We were just messing with you, man. Yeah, it's just a joke. But, but Matt, are you okay? Yeah, man. What, what the fuck? Is this shit real? Yeah. The blood? No, dude. It's, I got it at a Halloween store. It's fake. Seem pretty real. Cornstarch, though, right? right? <laughs> oh, and before you ask, you have a cat. Her name is Tina, and she's adorable. There. Now you know it's us. We good to come in? What the fuck are you even asking for? Just, just let yourself in. I was just making sure, bro. I didn't know it would freak you out this much. You just fucking sprayed blood all over me. You're still playing this mind game shit with that La Mimica. I don't trust anything. I know. I, I feel bad. I have been on you edge know, the you, moment that guy left you know, the tent. You're fucking paranoid sometimes. You're still fucking with me. Just, yes. Just open the tent yourself. Yes. Hey, dude, Maybe not. Hey, no worries. Of course it is! Alex, look, I'm sorry we messed with you, okay? We honestly just wanted to pull a good prank. Yeah, none of it was real. Okay, what part actually messed with you? The guitar part kind of freaked me the fuck out. The sorry, kid censor. God, sorry. There? Oh, Bluetooth speaker, bro. But how did you record it? That exact so tone. Growling. No. How'd you do the shaking? It mimics everything. It no, it makes no. no. It could do the Bluetooth. There's nothing else out here, Alex. I think it just seemed like a lot because we're inside it. Yeah, I swear it was only me. My God, this, this is messing with me, man. The zipper's stuck. It's freezing out nope. here. We're like four hours away from the car. It's dark as shit. No. Nope. We're not safe. I am not touching that zipper, good sir. Why the fuck would you do in this the whole thing prank in the first place? Like, it's just fucked up. Yeah. Okay, I I'm assuming you made up La Mimica, but... 100% do not be his friend after this if this is a prank. And I I'm but it's not. Scared. Guys? Ma. Shh. Shut the fuck up. Holy shit. What's real? What's fake? What the fuck? I'm sorry, man. What does that mean? It's obviously another trick to try to save his friends. Don't be naive! Alright, come in, come in. Thank you, dude. Get off! Son of a bitch! Ah! 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 <laughs> I have to give you a round of applause, though. That was perfect. Oh, the tension, the freaking mind game, the f everything, the audio. <sighs> All right, so holy shit, I'm still like breathing heavy, man. That one got to me like good. And like usually, like I make jokes, I crack jokes and stuff to try to like break the tension and stuff. But like I literally couldn't with this. Like the moment that the other friend left the tent and like just the sheer panic, man, like the mind games, like everything about it was so perfect. Like what's your name? Christopher Cox, man. You deserve every praise, dude. That was so phenomenal. It was 10 times better than anything I have ever seen that Hollywood produce, man. Like this was horror the way horror should be and it was only 12 minutes long or 12 and a half minutes but still man that, that boggled my brain the entire time like obviously it started like i don't want to say like the most cliche start you could possibly do but like after the intro like that intro was very creative but like after the intro like the whole like friends at a campfire and stuff like all that was like cliche cliche like i've seen that a million times but the way you orchestrated it man that was phenomenal like you had something that i thought i knew and then you just like 
360-180 made me turn myself on my head, like, to try to understand what the hell was happening. And even then, like, I had, like, second doubts. Like, maybe it was actually their friends playing tricks on them. Like, even though I was, like, in denial the entire time, like, no, that's the monster. Like, you still, like, in your brain, like, well, it could be his friends. Like, it could, they could be needing help. And, like, that was a prank, but now the monster's actually there. But, like, when it's there, ah, <laughs> the freaking jump scares, like, and, like, I, I necessarily don't count the first one as a jump scare mind you even though it was like just noise like that's essentially what jump scare is but like nothing essentially scary popped out at you you know but like that last one man oh my god i usually hate jump scares but that was done so perfectly like five nights at freddy's you know where it's just like the same jump scare over and over again but this one was like there was one jump scare and it was the creature that's all you got <laughs> like just a split second or at least what i saw you know was a split second of the monster because i was cowering in fear the majority of the time but man i cannot get enough of that that was phenomenal but i'm gonna stop here ben or i'd be babbling it for all of eternity but this was good this was so solid joshua thank you so much for showing me this like giving me the suggestion man so thank you everybody so much for watching leave a like down below subscribe ring the bell become a member you get videos a day early and check out the merch so with that said i have been master zero y'all guys have been fantastic and i'll see y'all in the next episode later dude